Hey writers, and welcome to your second writing prompt. I hope you've all enjoyed the first one and know that we're still kind of figuring things out here. So just as much as you may enjoy my feedback on your stuff, I would happily enjoy your feedback on these prompts and sort of if you feel these prompts are challenging you in any way. So today, what I want to talk about is something that you may have heard in class before, perspective or maybe in a different way, point of view. When you write, do you use the words I, me, my a lot? Do you tend to use you, your? Do you tend to use him, she, her, they, them? This may not seem like a very important distinction, but it actually makes all the difference in the world. It's the difference between changing your story from a first person perspective, which is more personal, I, me, my, or a third person perspective, which is a little bit more of an observer, a little bit more detached, he, she, they, them, or, and maybe less commonly used, second person point of view, which is you, your, talking directly to the reader, acting as if the reader is experiencing the things that are going on in the story, right? So how do you write? What do you like to do? Do you like to write in first person, I, me? Do you like to write in third person, he, she, they, them? Or second person, you and your? And why is that? How do you think that impacts your story? How do you think that impacts how close your readers are to the story? Or when you're writing about yourself, how do you think that impacts the way that somebody will understand what you were going through at that time? Now, I know for me personally, I tend to write usually in first person perspective because to me that's always really important to capturing the emotion of the you know, person that you're portraying, right? Because with first person perspectives, the nice sort of pro that you get is that you can like really look inside their head. Whereas third person perspective, you're a little bit more detached, so there's not so much of that, right? Second person perspective is really interesting because instead of being inside someone's head or observing, you're impressing what's happening onto the reader themselves. So if anything, the reader is inside their own head and interpreting the events in their own ways, right? So with that in mind, with this exercise, what I want you to do is look at some of the things you've written, either, you know, some journals or some stories, and how have you written them? And what perspective have you written them? And why do you think that is? Then, what I want you to do is if you've always written in either first person or third person perspective, I want you to try writing something in second person perspective. Try writing something directed toward the audience. You're walking down the street and you find this, you do that, you see this. Or, if you tend to do that, a lot in your own writing with the second person, with a, sorry, with the second person perspective. Try writing about that in first or third person perspective. Try writing about that in I, me, my, personal. Or, if you want to kind of put a little bit of distance in there, add he, she, they, them, there, and sort of talk from a more observer standpoint instead of a more personal one. As always, I look forward to reading what you have to come up with. And if you have any questions on this prompt, because I know it's a little bit, um, a little bit different than the last one, um, feel free to comment below or send me a message, send me an email, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have, as well as give you feedback on anything you have to send in. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have fun writing, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.